This build was recommended to me, and it's a fun one. Stunner and RJ250. What Stunner does is it gives the Warthog the ability to stun on any part of the bug's body that isn't covered in armor, and it gives 30% bonus damage to stun bugs as well. An RJ250 allows you to fling yourself around the cave, and letting you get out of tight jams when bugs are upon you. It also gives you bonus ammo and a shorter reload time, but at the cost of a little less area damage. Both of these overclocks are really fun to use against the bugs. But how will they pair together? Well, you'll see. Also, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Up, up, and away! <laughs> Let's just start it off with a down. <laughs> so me and my girlfriend have been playing Dark Souls for a while now. We just finished three though. And now we're on to Elden Ring, and by golly, that is probably going to be the one game that's going to take us forever to get through, because there is just so much to do in that game. Hello. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I love Stunner a lot. This build is is kind of kind of making me try Turret Whip, though. That's a bit, that's a bit sus. What's up, guys? <laughs> Love that I'm able to just one shot them, just one shot at all. <laughs> wow, that cave leech is really low. That kind of reminds me of the leeches that we were going up against at Hazard Six. I remember there was just one, literally like right next to the ground. And there was one that sideways grabbed one of our friends. Oh, stay away. Whoa. There's friends. Oh, friends. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be using this thing to jump around with, but it, it's RJ250. It's the fun overclock. You have to jump around with it. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. How does turret whip work? Does it just shoot in the direction the turret is aiming? That's pretty cool. Oh look, I got a resupply. Oh boy, it's a hazard six times two. Alrighty, I guess I'll give turret whip a try. Maybe it'll be good. I'm surprised they didn't just make turret whip just an overclock that you can do. But I guess it makes more sense that it's a gear mod. Oh, owie. <laughs> Wait, what? Where are you? There he is. Damn! That is insane. That's almost as powerful as Magnetic Pell and Alignment, which I believe that is what uh, Stunner is. Stunner gives you 30% more damage to stunned bugs but it makes stuns occur more often on all parts of the body. So, stunner better, question mark? I should get that one. We're gonna pop two at a time. This won't end horribly. <laughs> okay, no swarm. Nope. No swarm again, okay, okay. Okay. Interesting. Hey, what? Wait, Steve. No, Steve, stay. Oh, that's right. I don't have Steve. I didn't. I forgot about that. Hey, shut up. Shut up, and shut up. Get stunned. I'm gonna reload my turrets. No! Stop. Bad. Dang it. I don't have a steel with V. Can you shut up? Fuck you. 
<laughs> full full damage stunner is really fun. I would prefer the fully automatic though over this just for a faster rate of fire. Ah oh, man, these two are on the completely offside skate. Okay, hold on. Get that one. What? Mine. Give it to me. <laughs> Lloyd's just freaking out over there. There you go. And this one. This vision is gonna be fast. Nice. Okay, okay. This build's really fun though. Honestly. I like both of these overclocks a whole hell of a lot. No. <laughs> I just denied him the right to attack me. Okay. So does Turwhip do like a sort of AoE? Whee! Nope. Stop. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Ah. Whoa. R rude. Whee! Oh my god, there's so many sea tails! No! <laughs> I thought I could save myself. Get me up, Lloyd. I need another trick. Shut up. You're not invited to my birthday anymore. Okay, so it, it does do like a little bit of AoE. That's kind of cool. Okay, I'm getting a little cocky. Shut up. That's that's kind of really cool. Might have to try more builds out with turret whip in them to see how well they are actually. I guess I could see turret whip being very viable. I I can probably see it better with one turret though, so you can you can have to maintain one. But I mean. That's also less DPS though, if you're only using one turret. I mean, it's still pretty cool though. This last one. <gasps> Give me. Alrighty. All in all, a very smooth mission. Just ignore the three downs. <laughs> Quick mission in and out. 20 minutes. Oh. Hey, that's cheating. Okay, fine. Holy crap. That's so much nitra. Alright, fine. I'll follow Molly. Wrong way. Molly shows the way. I can't forget about my turrets. Those cost money. Oh, come on now. Really? Let me in. Whee! Rocket stone. Hell yeah. I like this build. This build is very simple. And it has two really, really fun over... Was that Nemesis there? I don't think that was Nemesis. Either way though, this build is really fun. It's got two really, really simple, simple overclocks. And you know what? Sometimes simple, simple is good. <laughs> I love this Prospector drip, by the way. So good.